Energy efficiency greater than 100% is possible, and nuclear fusion is not the only means of achieving it. In 2005, a New Zealand-based research and development company discovered a method of combining galvanic reaction with electrolysis to achieve self-enhanced efficiency. The technique is from outside the box, so to speak, since galvanic reaction is the complete opposite of electrolytic reaction, and therefore conventional science would consider the opposing reactions to counteract and reduce efficiency. Conventional electrolysis is a process of passing electricity through water, causing the hydrogen atoms to separate from the oxygen atom. Basically, electricity here is the key factor to produce hydrogen energy. So where does that electricity come from? Galvanic reaction is the science behind dry cell batteries and is a free energy. You can prove this for yourself with the old-school science lemon and galvanized nail experiment to produce electricity strong enough to emit an LED light. No external energy is needed to charge up the lemon. H2IL discovered a way to excite an electrolytic cell to produce its own electricity through galvanic reaction. Combining the two sciences creates a hydrogen generation system that produces its own electricity. The applied input power simply amplifies the charge potential on a logarithmic scale. The output energy is hydrogen, which can be converted into electricity. The technique is so simple that it's considered too good to be true, especially when compared to the scale and complexity of the nuclear fusion project that requires a reactor temperature much hotter than that of the sun. The H2IL enhanced electrolysis system is stable with a boost factor of up to 30 or 3000%. Achieving this stability has been a challenging 12-year task. If uncontrolled, the cell can rapidly turn into an electroplating cell and cause the organic byproduct to adhere to the electrodes collapsing the reactions within minutes. Could this discovery be the holy grail of energy? A system fueled by abundant rain, lake, river, or seawater, capable of fulfilling virtually any requirements and scalable from a 20 kilowatt hour per cubic meter cell way up to an enormous and limited capacity, a self-sustaining power plant restricted only by the size or number of cells. 35 major nations are investing millions into an uncertain energy experiment. Could it be time for these nations to consider a proven technology?